Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a storage space error 0x00000057. The parameter is incorrect. So beyond just going into File Explorer here, so just selecting the File Explorer icon or searching up in the Start menu, you want to go ahead and just open that up. So the first thing you want to do is open up the Start menu, type in File Explorer. Best match to go back with File Explorer here. Go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side. And if you notice your local disk has space available here, that means that what we're going to do in this tutorial is probably going to be applicable for you. If there is no space in here, I would recommend doing things like a disk cleanup, clearing your downloads folder, as well as running a disk cleanup scan. So just doing a few different things. If you have CCleaner, run a CCleaner scan, clean up some of the junk files in your computer. But if that's not what the problem is, we're going to go ahead and jump into this tutorial. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to go ahead and type in chk, dsk, space, forward slash f, again exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, chk, dsk, space, forward slash f, hit enter on your keyboard. So your volume will need to be checked once you restart your computer. So tap the Y key on your keyboard, hit enter. Now you will need to save out of any programs you have open, close out of them as well. Restart your computer and this will take a few minutes to run so please be patient.
Okay, so it looks like it's just trying to install an update here, so we're just going to skip over that. Um, shouldn't be relevant to you guys as long as you reset your computer every once in a while and are up to date with your Windows updates. But anyway, once you've restarted, hopefully the issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.